legendary PsyOps Battleground on the moon. But we're gonna do it with a twist. There's gonna be a handicap involved. Usually I'm all about that glaive, but I had to do some glaive anonymous and everybody's getting upset on Reddit, so today I'm gonna rock the submachine gun. I don't really want my videos getting all stale, so I thought I'd change it up a bit. And then while I was at it, I figured why not try this with some challenges. Now the thing about PsyOps Battleground Legendary is it comes with match game. That puts elemental shields on some of the enemies that make them crazy resistant to damage. So it's insanely difficult to deal with all those shields and then tons of adds because PsyOps usually have the most adds anyways. And then I'm going to put some rules on how I play this to keep it really interesting. Rule number one, no sitting behind cover and needling the enemies down because that's boring and lame. Number two, no sitting in Invisi and regaining my health to full. I can use Invisi to start my health to regain, but then I have to immediately start attacking the enemies or be moving towards an objective. Rule number three, I cannot use Arc or Solar. Now those rules might not seem like much, but keep in mind I'm doing this on Legendary with Match Game. And the submachine gun is both short range and I don't have the correct element to deal with all those shields, so it makes it really difficult. And whether I succeed or not, by the way, I've started this video and I have no idea if I can even beat the boss or the middle. I've been struggling a lot with it. This video is going to go on whether I do it or not. So even if I fail, I'm going to put this video online. Also, PsyOps Battleground rotates out every week and it's currently Saturday. So can I knock this out before it rotates out or am I just going to rage quit, give up, and just post my absolute fail? So now we're at the bane of my existence. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I'm starting to get a little scared that I might have made this a little too challenging. The submachine guns are decent guns except for when you're doing really difficult things. And the Osteo Striga is just, it does not kill fast. So when you're really needing your devour to proc, it can really bite you in the ass. It wouldn't be so bad if I just had to fight these adds because it cleans up adds pretty well. But once these hive wizards start spawning, as you can see, everything just literally goes crazy chaotic. And you can't just use your rockets when you're fighting the hive wizards because they'll sidestep about half of your rockets. They move way more around when you're playing Legendary. So I have to be careful how I rotate through my abilities. I generally try to save my Shade Step to reload my rockets and not to escape. And then I try to use my grenades to lock down the position of where they're gonna be. And then I'll like rotate in a rocket to try to pin them. Otherwise I try to catch them right at the end of them moving around. But sometimes you can see here they'll just move around like three side steps. He just went like 30 feet in 2 seconds, so that's almost impossible to hit with the rocket. Right about now, after wave 4, shit just gets real. The waves have just escalated to a point to where everywhere you turn there's an ad firing on you, there's ogres, there's yellow bars, there's 4 to 5 hive wizards, just death everywhere. And I'm genuinely getting scared that I'm not gonna get this one done. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody ass stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody ass break through the chains, go free me. Look up a change, look up a thing. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. 
I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chest, I'm clapping it next yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession I'm in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You can try to play, but you never gonna be But the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands came from the people who deceived me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep, both feet hurt it easy Don't wanna breathe, that's a sleep when they see me Let us stand tall, ready for the fight, believe me When they drive the chains, you can say no, free me So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race, life is a chase I don't want a place, I want to be first Work till it hurts, dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break, off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot You got one life, better pop off What do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Man, so much effort went into this. If you really want to show me some love, hit that subscribe to show me that it was worth it. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'll do another one of these and the top commented weapons will be the weapons that I'll use on that video. So go crazy, get creative, and let me see you guys do your worst. Okay, so now on to that final boss fight. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if I should just save my tether for the boss just to push this phase through faster, but these Hive Knights can be a real pain, so I just figured I'd take them out right quick. And then I found out the ads all just kind of run into it, so it ended up working out. And then all I gotta do is just clean up all these ads. Plus, I found out later from one of my million and one fails that if you push the boss through the phase too fast, that there'll be like four Taken Knights and like 50 ads, so it's just death everywhere. So it's better to kill everything as the waves progress, make sure there's no ads, and then push the boss. I try not to use too much of my heavy on the boss. I try to just use my tether and then the rockets I save for the Hive Knights. And then I just float around the map, making sure I clean up all the ads. Sometimes, like this one, I push the boss a little too fast, and that could bite me in the ass, but I end up killing all of them, so it, it was okay. This part of the fight is pretty straightforward. You just gotta clean up all the ads and just keep an eye on where the Taken Knights are and where the boss is. The boss doesn't really do a ton of damage, but he has a grenade that will one-shot you if you're caught unaware of it. So you gotta kinda listen to the sounds and pay attention to what the boss is doing. Other than that, I just push the boss's health down and then I clear all the ads as they come out, making sure there's not too many ads for this next phase. Because if there is, it's there's no way you could do it. Because when you have the final phase push, you're going to have two Witch Queen illusions on each side. And then there's going to be about 20 adds that are going to pop out with two Hive Knight Majors. And then there's an Ogre that pops up in the middle. There's just way too much to deal with if there's already the adds from the previous wave stacked on top of all of that. I failed at this so many times before I figured out I had to do all that. And then I found out a little extra trick that helps you. I push the immediate ads right here and just kill them real fast and then I actually grab the spear. I'm used to usually having strong weapons that I deal with the ads with so just instinctively I was kind of muscle memory killing the ads with my normal weapons but I found it was better to push the witch queen instantly and just take the ads that are rushing you because this thing just deletes the ads which normally I don't use it because it, it's just overkill it wastes it's slower. But on this one, not the case. It really helped. So yeah, once I figured that out, the fight got a lot easier. It's because the beginning waves that come out, all those ads with the Witch Queens, are what was giving me the biggest problems. And I just kind of overlooked using the spear because honestly, I'm always trying to make a video on everything I do. And I'm trying to use certain weapons when I do it. So just using the spear was something I overlooked. And 
it's kind of cheating I'm kind of cheating kind of not cheating it's a little bit of a gray area in the rules but comment below if you guys feel like it was cheating and if this gets a hundred likes when I do this again I won't use the spear on the ads cuz I can kind of get that's a little bit of cheating most people probably aren't gonna care but it makes a difference so that might be why it's can be perceived as cheating but yeah I just gotta kill that ogre just gotta needle him down a little bit these are the only guys that I kind of cheat on too. like speaking of cheating you can't really fight the ogres out in the open there's just no way you have to sit behind cover to fight those guys they're just there's no way around it they kill you in literally half of a second so that's the only time that I fire behind cover Damn, that shit was so epic. A lot hotter than I think it looks. But if you enjoyed my content, give it a like. And if this gets 100 likes, I'll do another one of these PsyOps Battleground challenges. And make sure to drop some comments below about what weapons you guys want to see. Videos out every Fridays. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. I just wanna feel so free. And I just wanna be, be me. Yeah, I just wanna go so crazy. I just wanna be a freak. Yeah, I just wanna rise to the top. Yeah, I just wanna go reach the peak. So I've been really well focused on success. Hey, y'all won't see.